All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe bell, all that good stuff, because there's a lot to come. It's a little slow at the beginning, but we're going to get this ball rolling. Looks like everything is all plugged in and a couple of hoses left to uh, hook up. Some vacuum hoses there. But today we're going to go ahead and focus on the fuel pump setup. We finally got that last part to come in. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and start here. Got a little workstation here. So we have a uh, 2G all-wheel drive fuel pump hanger. So what we, uh, what I did here was I went ahead and uh, cut these off. Boom, boom, drilled them out. And we went with the STM bulk fitting. So you got a dash eight here for the feed and a dash six for the return. And this is what it's looking like on top. Uh, we had to modify the siphon here just a little bit, get it out the way. So that's all done, tightened up, good to go. Uh, flipped it around here, what you're gonna see on the other end here. Had to do a little bit of modification here, but it was enough to where this fit in there and this pretty much uh, tightened itself up. And you are able to tighten it with a wrench up here. So this is really tight, good to go, should be sealed. We're gonna go ahead and throw in the Evo 89 siphon, okay? This is what we're looking at here. And uh, if you guys wanna know part number, we have MR43112. Eight. And basically what we're going to end up doing is um, since we got rid of the OEM siphon that comes on the 2G, um, they have that hard line with the little O-ring that goes in. And But since you got rid of that, then the, I mean, I guess you can go ahead and still use a hose to go from here, get a hose to go there and then hose uh, clamp it to that piece you cut off so it can go in there. But I mean, for $30, you can't beat this. I mean, it's it's pretty much gonna be plug and play. Okay, so it's gonna be something like this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure we get at the right placement. Uh, I know there's a certain uh, length this has to be, so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. And then go ahead and after that, we're gonna move on to the fuel pump. So I got the siphon, some hose air, fuel pump, filter hose clamp, harness, heat shrink, and something to drink. I think we're looking at something like this. Uh, I believe it's an eighth of an inch past a little slot here, but we're gonna go ahead and just double check, make sure that's accurate. And then once all that's said and done, throw in the level, call it a day. Hopefully once we get this assembled, we're gonna go ahead and be able to drop it in with no problems, fingers crossed and uh, move on to the next step, which is like I said, this guy has been looking for this part for like the past two hours, kid you not. And finding the heat shrink, I was able to find something that he's been looking for the past couple hours. What? Oh my, who the f put it there? Whoa, this is going on YouTube. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, you did it again. So anyways, let's begin. Can we do a time lapse here and see what we end up doing? All right.
All right, so we end up with something like this. You got your hoses here. I end up putting the zip tie just to, because this was kind of sticking out because of the, you know, how thick this hose I got. So uh, within time, I'm pretty sure it's just going to mold to it. And then you can take that off, take that zip tie off. Uh, Clamp down the fuel pump. We measured where it was. I didn't put that bracket on there because we didn't have it. We somehow lost it. So what we did is uh, the hose clamp with the insulation. So what we did, we just uh, we sat it in there, tightened it just enough to where this can move up and down. Set it down, put the ring on it, pushed down as much as we could, pull it back out, and then it was you know we only had like maybe quarter of an inch gap right here, which as you can see here, pretty straight. Pretty good to go on my car. I just end up cutting the hard line and just put it into the stock uh, OEM 2G and drilling out uh, base pressure down. So I like this idea better. So I got to take mine down. We already got one ordered. Fell in place. Now we're going to go ahead and just throw this in the tank and just make sure uh, we got our clearance. Uh, make sure this is uh, clocked the right way with the sock. Uh, I think I, uh, I got it down. All right, guys. So I end up just little by little. Got that seal all the way in there and this hand tie all the way down, it's flush. I give it a couple couple taps. We're gonna go ahead and just leave it the way it is, plug everything up, and then we're gonna go ahead and see what else we got left for it. I think for the fuel pump part, it's uh, complete. These are freaking on there, they're looking good. A little scuffed up, but who's so gonna see it? On the next one, like I said, we already talked about it, we're gonna go with Radiator to hoses, fluids, lines, clamps, sensors, vacuum hoses, bolt everything up, battery, start up, and then we'd be good to go. For until the next time, hopefully we get to get this done, and we're gonna have more coming your way. Gotta go.